Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. In this video, I'll talk about Lightroom's auto import feature. With this, you can have Lightroom monitor a folder on your hard drive and anytime images show up in that folder, Lightroom will automatically import them. This feature is available in Lightroom Classic, Lightroom 6, and in earlier versions. One example of where this might be handy would be if you're scanning slides or prints. Have Lightroom watch the folder that you're saving your scans into so that they come into Lightroom automatically. Similarly, if you're using a third-party cloud service to get your mobile device photos to your computer, have Lightroom monitor that folder. Now let's use the scanning example as I show you how to use this feature. First, I want to go out to Finder or Windows Explorer to show you that I've set up a folder, New Images, where I'm planning to save my scans. It's important as you set this up that the folder start out empty. Next, in Lightroom, I'll go to File, Auto Import, Auto Import Settings. The first step is to tell Lightroom where that folder is that it should watch. I'll click on Choose, and I'll navigate to where that folder is. I'll select it, and then I'll click on Choose again. Now, if that folder isn't empty, you'll get an error at this point. So choose an empty one. Now, Lightroom's goal is to empty out that folder anytime it finds images in it. Therefore, it's going to move the images that it finds to another location, to the destination. So you'll specify where you want to store these files. Now there is no option here to have Lightroom organize these files into date folders. So if you normally have Lightroom create date folders and store your images in them as you import, then you'll have two options. You can specify another folder for them to go to temporarily so that you can get them into Lightroom and then you can manually move them into date folders using the folders panel, or you can choose to not use this auto import feature. Just do regular manual imports instead. But let's specify a destination for my scans. I'd click on choose, and then ideally this would be within the folder structure where I have the rest of my photos. Most of them are in Photos Go Here. Now, I'll choose to put them in a Scans folder within Photos Go Here, but I'm just going to choose the Master Photos Go Here folder at this point. Next, Lightroom will create a subfolder in that location. So you can leave it at Auto Imported Photos, but I'm going to name this Scans. We then have some setting choices here that we have in the Import dialog. You can rename the files as you're importing if you wish to, if you don't want to rename, just leave this at file name. You can specify a develop preset, a copyright and contact information or other metadata preset, keywords that will apply to all of these images, and then your preview setting. I'm going to skip these though, and before I hit OK, I'll click Enable Auto Import to have it start watching the new images folder. Then I'll click on OK. Nothing will happen in Lightroom at this point because the new images folder is empty. So I'll come out here and I'll drag a photo into it. And then I'll go back to Lightroom. So this is in a scans folder in my Photos Go Here folder. Here it is right here. It's that simple. Because that was kind of fun, let's go back out and do it one more time. I'll select these three images, drag them into new images, Go back to Lightroom, and there they are. Now last week, I published a video on Lightroom's tethered capture feature. With that, you plug your camera into your computer, and as you shoot, maybe portraits or products or macro photos of flowers, for example, your images are immediately imported into Lightroom so that you can view them full size and judge sharpness and composition, etc. That feature is only available for a limited number of Nikon, Canon, and Leica cameras. If you want to do tethered capture but you don't have one of those cameras, 
Check your camera manufacturer's software that comes with a camera. If that supports tethered capture, it won't be connected to Lightroom, but as you're shooting, your images will be saved into a folder on your hard drive, and you can set up this auto import feature to import them right away so that you can accomplish the same thing as with Lightroom's tethered capture feature. Now you can have Lightroom monitor that folder forever, but if you want it to stop monitoring it, then go back up to File, Auto Import, and uncheck Enable Auto Import. It will still remember the auto import settings, so if you want to turn it back on again, you can just enable it. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on Lightroom's auto import feature. If you have, check out my comprehensive Lightroom training. It's up to 34 hours of videos covering all aspects of Lightroom. For less than the cost of dinner out, you can get past any frustration you're having with Lightroom and get to the point where you feel really confident in it. Make sure that you're leveraging all that Lightroom has to offer so that you can actually enjoy working with your photos. I'm Laura Shue.